Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys part two of my three-part top Cydia tweaks for iOS 8 through 8.1.2 list. All right, and as I mentioned, this is part two. Ensure that you watch part one first, and you will need to be jailbroken. If you have yet to jailbreak, you can follow any of my guides on my channel. And as of recording this video, you can't jailbreak the latest public firmware being 8.1.3. That's why in the title it says pre 8.1.3. I will also have a link down below in the more info to a post on my site that contains all of the tweaks listed there in written form. And with that said, up first we have NC if needed. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite tweaks. And essentially, when you bring down Notification Center, it will open to either the today view or the notifications view depending on whether or not you actually have notifications so as you can see i don't have any notifications right now so it immediately opened up to the today view normally it will open to whichever one you had it open in last so as you can see right now i have it open in notifications but because i don't have any it will instantly open in the today view so let's go ahead and send myself a test notification here from my ipad i'm sending it now off screen as you can see i have a notification so when i go to pull down now it lists it there up in the messages portion of the notification section inside of notification center let's go ahead and clear out of that notification and just show you guys one last time that it does indeed open up to the today view this is extremely useful if you utilize ios 8 widgets or if you just happen to miss notifications and you want to see all of your new notifications that you have yet to read again it will open inside of the notifications view all right and up next we have a tweet called untethered hey siri as you may have guessed by the name it does invoke Siri when you say hey Siri it's a new feature that was implemented by Apple in iOS 8 however by default they require that your device be plugged in to actually activate because it is slightly battery intensive I found that on the iPhone 6 plus it doesn't matter too much it may vary for you though based on your device so once you have it installed all you have to do is go inside of settings and then from there general Siri and then allow hey Siri and then you can set it to either while charging or always this is the new feature when you actually install it you can set it to again always which actually will activate it without having your device plugged in so let's go ahead and do a quick test run now hey siri all right, as you can see, it did activate Siri. And when you invoke it, you can actually say something right after a brief pause. And then from there, Siri will accomplish whatever you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and try to check the time in China. Hey Siri, what's the time in China? So as you can see, it works fairly well. Sometimes it's not always accurate. However, it's definitely better than nothing and it comes in handy when trying to activate Siri to set a timer, for instance, when doing other tasks. All right, now for the third tweak in this list, we have Multi-Icon Mover. It's been resurrected for iOS 8 and essentially it's great for those of you who wanna quickly personalize your device and it allows you to move multiple icons to a page simultaneously. So simply enter the traditional edit mode for your device's springboard simply by tapping and holding on any of the icons. From there, once it's inside of that wiggle mode, just tap on the icons that you wanna actually move, go to the page intended for the moving of said icons, and then press the home button, and all of the icons will pop into place and move from the original page to the desired one. And then from there, just press the home button again. So as you can see, I did quickly move all of those icons from the second to the first page. Let's go ahead and move some of them back, and there we go. It's incredibly simple and I really love Multi-Icon Mover. And now next up we have another very simple app that restricts ads from redirecting to the App Store. So once it's enabled, if you go to tap on an ad that would normally redirect to the App Store, you will receive a prompt asking you to. And while most apps actually stay inside of the app and then try to redirect you to the App Store, this is just a quick example of one. So it did take me to Safari first, but either way I can tap on no. So that way it doesn't redirect me. And if it was an intentional tap, you can tap yes, and it will redirect you to the app store. It's incredibly useful for those pesky ads that take away from the core experience of an app. Now next, and finally, we have better delete. This tweak will add more information to the app that you're trying to delete. So let's go ahead and delete parallels here. If you go to tap on the X, it will bring this pop-up up that 
gives you additional information. It tells you the size of the application, the version number, as well as the bundle ID. This is incredibly helpful if you're trying to determine whether an app actually needs to be deleted by seeing how much of the file system is actually taken up by said app. So let's go ahead and delete it. You can of course tap on cancel and it doesn't actually delete it, but let's go ahead and delete parallels anyway. And as you can see, it's very nice and very useful if you're trying to delete multiple applications that are consuming quite a bit of space because otherwise you would have to fiddle around with it and go inside of settings, general usage, and then from there manage storage. So that's my list of five awesome free tweaks. Be sure to check out part one if you have yet to for even more. And I also wanted to mention a new giveaway that I'm holding. And this is actually the first in a set of giveaways for an all new service that I'm launching. I'm incredibly excited. I'm not going to reveal too much right now. And you guys actually already saw the app that's involved in this giveaway. It's called Fasteroids. And all you have to do is actually download Fasteroids from the App Store. It's an app that was created by my developer, published on my developer account. All you have to do is click the link down below in the more info to be redirected to download Fasteroids, give it a great review, and leave your reviewer name down below in the comment section with a thumbs up for this video. And from there, that way it can be identified and you can be selected in the back end of the reviews portion. So again, all you have to do is download Fasteroids, give it a great review, rate this video up, and leave your reviewer name down below in the more info and you'll be automatically entered to win one of four gift cards two $25 Amazon gift cards and two $25 iTunes gift cards, which can be used on apps, movies, and more. I really do hope you guys like this video as well as the tweaks in this list. I'm so excited to share with you guys my all new service. I'm not going to reveal anything just yet. We're putting the final touches on it now. And once it's complete, I will let you guys know and announce another awesome giveaway and a great collaboration with a YouTuber that some of you may know. And with that said, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover various jailbreak related topics, if you aren't already subscribed, just be sure to do so now. From there, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.